Or if you want a big yet friendly motorcycle to ride, we've got two options for you. Once the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 has been around for a long, long time, but in 2023, Royal Enfield has given it an update, made it a fresh motorcycle. On the other side, you have the Super Meteor 650, which is a brand spanking new motorcycle from Royal Enfield. Yes, it uses the 650 engine as the base platform, but obviously it's a very different motorcycle from the Interceptor 650. Now, the thing we have to decide is, which one of these two big yet friendly motorcycles is going to work better for you? Hi, my name is Dhruv Paliwal, you're watching AutoX, let's get started. Now before we dive deep into the video and I start talking about the differences between these two motorcycles, I would have first start by talking how they are similar. As they both come from the house of Royal Enfield and the biggest common point between these two motorcycles is the engine. In particular, the twin cylinder 648cc air and oil cooled engine and I think it's one of the joys on both of these motorcycles. It makes about 47 PS of power, 52 Newton meters of torque and while the figures stay the same on both motorcycles, what Royal Enfield says is that on the Super Meteor 650, they've changed the intake system, obviously the exhausts are new and that means that this motorcycle now gets a better mid-range. It's something that we've actually been able to experience while riding the motorcycle also but it's not like it makes it any quicker than the Interceptor and that's because both these motorcycles have very different curb widths. The Super Meteor 650 is heavier and that's why it needs that mid-range to make the ride as effortless as on the Interceptor 650. Now, apart from the engine, you've also got one more area of commonality and that's the switchgear and the levers. The Royal Enfield introduced this new rotary style switches on the Super Meteor 650 first and obviously the quality, it's impeccable. The switches here feel really nice to use when you're riding the motorcycle and these adjustable levers, all of these things have made it over to the Interceptor 650 in the 2023 update and I for one could not be happier. Now let's move on to how you sit on both these motorcycles. The Super Meteor 650, super easy to get into the saddle and the riding position, well, it's quite sorted. You don't really have to do anything over here. You don't have to reach out for the bars because they kind of are angled towards you. You can easily get your hands to them, your feet, well, they sit here in this forward position where they're not really angled too much so you're really comfortable. And I think that's what the premise of the Super Meteor 650 is. It's a super comfortable motorcycle to sit in and you aren't really going to be tired even if you do a lot of miles on this motorcycle in a day. But that's permitting that the roads are fine. The Interceptor 650. Now this, this is more of a natural riding position for a roadster. So you're slightly leaned in towards the front, your feet are slightly angled towards the back. You're not really reaching out for stuff, but it's just getting engaged in the act of riding a motorcycle. I think that feeling is much, much more present on this, the Interceptor 650, than on the Super Meteor 650. One thing though, the seat on this, it's a little bit hard. It's not going to be very comfortable on short journeys, but on longer highway journeys, it's actually going to be opposite. This hard seat is really going to come into its own element. It's going to be super comfortable because it will keep you cushioned for longer. One small point on the Interceptor 650 that I do want to make are these foot pegs. They kind of get in the way when you're trying to put your feet down on the ground because there's not a lot of space between this and the lever over here. And if you try and put it at the back, it's kind of not a natural position. So that is something that does tend to be a sore point on the Interceptor 650. Ultimately, choosing between both these motorcycles is going to come on how much comfort do you want in your everyday ride. If you really want to be slightly committed in traffic or on highway or wherever you're going to be taking the Interceptor 650, or you just want to have a laid back ride, just sit down easily and let the motorcycle chug along, in which case the Super Meteor 650 is going to be your friend. 
Now, any consumer who walks into showrooms in 2023 wants features. And in that department, both of these motorcycles are kind of so-so. Uh, first of all, they get a lot of the same kit. But when you take the Super Meteor in comparison to the Interceptor, it gets Showa upside down front forks and a larger rear disc. Apart from that, the instrument cluster is different, but I actually like the one that's present on the Interceptor more. You know what? Here's a clip of the Interceptor's instrument cluster. Here's a clip of the Super Meteor's instrument cluster. I want you to look at both of them and tell me down in the comments box below, which one do you like looking at more? And with that, let's come back to this. And I think over here, there's one thing where the Super Meteor is actually just walking away and that's the build quality. The paint quality, it just feels far more superior on the Super Meteor 650 than on the Interceptor, despite the fact that both these motorcycles get the same set of features. So I think in the build quality department, in overall in the features department, in the desirability department, it's the Super Meteor 650 that's walking away with it. The seating, build quality, features, all of that aside, you want to know how a motorcycle rides. And let's start with the Super Meteor. This front end that you see over here is actually quite good. It gives you a lot of feedback, there's a lot of confidence and you can really muscle it in anywhere you want. And this long rake angle means that any input that you give to the motorcycle is transferred smoothly. And that's what this motorcycle is all about, a smooth riding experience. But where things do not remain smooth is at the rear. Because over there, you don't really have a lot of suspension travel, this being a cruiser and the suspension, it is stiff. Now, in Western countries where the roads do not really have a lot of potholes or a lot of undulations, the road surfaces are flat for most of the time. This is a gem of a motorcycle. But in India, where even highways have undulations, where you have a lot of bumps forming into the road just out of natural traffic wear patterns, this kind of starts to get a little bit unnerving. And even at 100 kmph, you can actually feel a lot of uh, the rear just throwing you back up. I've in fact really experienced a not so pleasant experience while doing speeds of more than 100 kmph on this motorcycle because the rear suspension, it kind of tends to throw you in the ear. The one quick fix to that is that use a little bit of your rear brake when you're going over expansion joints or stuff that you know might throw you up in the air because that settles the bike a little. But you know what, you have to be a seasoned rider to be able to predict that, to be able to do that in real time. But apart from that, the Super Meteor 650 just works. No matter where you're riding it, in the city, on the highway, anywhere, this will just work. Yes, it will not be as fun in the corners as say something as the Interceptor, and let's come to the Interceptor with all of that. The Interceptor is actually quite the opposite of the Super Meteor and how you are. While well, the Super Meteor has a stiff suspension setup at either end, this one is rather softly set up. Now, it's a more comfortable motorcycle to ride every day. But when you're out on the highway, you can always feel your front and your rear kind of just moving around to keep the bike stable. It's not really very bothersome, but when you try and push this motorcycle, it can become a bit nervy then. Now, me personally, I like that feeling that my motorcycle is moving around all the time because it's keeping me also on the edge because I like to ride on the edge, but that might not be the case with each and every one of you. If you try to take it back, if you just want to cruise at 100 kmph with the motorcycle feeling really, really stable, that's something you might not really find on the Interceptor, that's what you'll find on the Super Meteor 650. Now this brings us to the end of this video where I have to summarize both these motorcycles for you and I'll start with the Interceptor 650. This is quite simply a young man's game. Someone who's just started into riding has probably gone through one motorcycle, is moving on to the next one and want a big motorcycle. It can do the Monday to Sunday grind quite easily and yes, with the suspension, as you become a faster rider, as you start riding your motorcycle harder, you will reach the limits of the suspension. In that case, I just have a quick piece of advice for you. Maybe upgrade the suspension and you'll be able to go harder and faster on this motorcycle. 
as far as the super meteor is concerned yes it can do the daily grind but really won't be that happy and neither will you be that happy doing the daily grind on this motorcycle this is more like a sunday ride where you can just lay back and take it easy but that doesn't mean it cannot hustle it can hustle hard in the city it can actually be quite easy to ride this motorcycle in traffic not as easy as the interceptor but relatively easy on the highways it can hold its own and it's actually a lot more stable on the highways than the interceptor so for longer rides this obviously is the better option apart from that one chink in its armor the rear suspension if you can live with that and you like to do a lot of touring the super meteor will be right up your alley if you're looking for something that will do everything a bit of everything every day the interceptor 650 should work for you me personally i'd pick the interceptor 650 but i want to know which motorcycle you would pick let me know down in the comments box below thank you so much for watching until the next one goodbye